Hi, everybody. Today, I'm, I'm doing a brief uh, training session on chakra links and some of the uh, most common questions I get uh, about this subject. And I think you'll find, uh, even if you have uh, had training uh, from me in the past um, about chakra links, uh, you may uh, learn a thing or two uh, in this little miniature Q&A session today. So the first question that I get uh, very frequently from especially new students is, is there such a thing as a, a beneficial chakra link? And the answer is, no, there's not. Uh, not in my experience. And I've observed and helped uh, to clear uh, clients and myself um, tens of thousands of chakra links. And no, there is no beneficial, beneficial type of chakra linking. I think the reason for that is, is how chakra links actually are generated. They are always, it's a tapping into, if you're chakra linked by someone, someone is tapping into your system uh, to get something or to and or to resolve something in their system to balance something in their system that they don't think they can do on their own and that would be one simple explanation of why the linking is occurring but the chakra links are really at, at a core being stimulated and generated by unresolved emotional issues and belief codes and um, these are negative uh, packages of negative emotional energies packages thought packages of negative limiting ideas and uh, nothing uh, good ever comes from those types of packages so uh, I've never seen that occur in fact very often when I do uh, client uh, uh, work on the occasion that I do session work that involves clearing chakra links. I will very often take a reading uh, using Walt Wood's scale of minus 10 to plus 10. Some of you have heard me, many of you have heard me talk about that scale before. It's in his pendulum tutorial book called Letter to Robin. So minus 10 to plus 10 uh, from zero to minus 10 are degrees of negative impact on you of something, of a situation. Zero to plus 10 are degrees of positive impact. When I do client sessions, when I've done in the past client sessions uh, involving chakra linking, I very often will take readings on this. I've never once seen a positive reading. I've never seen a reading over a, a minus five. And most uh, situations, DAOs as a minus eight to minus 10 effect of the chakra link on the person's um, overall health and well-being. So that would be well-being in any category of their life. So with that, basically that's communicating that chakra links are very impacting in a very big negative way. So that's number one. No, I've never seen a positive, positive outcome of chakra linking ever. Number two, how common are chakra links? Chakra links are very common, far common than you'd ever imagine. Um, you are probably chakra linked at, in all likelihood today with what's going on today. You probably get chakra linked at least once a month at least once a month, maybe many times a month. Chakra links do and can dissolve on their own. It depends on the strength of the link. Uh, but every day that you are engaged in the link has a, a, an impact on you. And there is a transfer of data over the, the energetic wires between you and the other person. And even if the chakra link dissolves, you end up with, with basically photocopies of the other person's, some of the other person's issues. And that has a, um, a, a potential effect as well, negative effect as well in your system. So um, chakra linking is common. It's more common I think today than I've ever seen it. And uh, in fact, chakra linking has very much been on the rise in the last 10 years. And in the last five years, I would classify what I've seen happening with chakra linking, including in my own personal experience, uh, chakra linking has gone ballistic. And the reason I think more chakra linking is occurring is because of damage uh, make it, we are much more vulnerable today than we were even five years ago for facilitating a chakra link. Um, our, our chakra system, it, chakra systems are being damaged across the board with the human species due to 
uh, radio frequency, high frequency radio wave exposures. I've been tracking and again observing this in clients and in myself for now the last 10 years and it's it's just very, very active in the last five as our wireless um, exposures, our radio frequency exposures, they're just increasing, they have increased exponentially in the last five years. Um, there's something about the chakra system and chakra linking. I believe today, I didn't I didn't understand this until uh, probably the last couple of years. I, I got this aha and started checking, wait a minute, has this always been going on? And I just didn't understand it. And the answer was yes, that in order to get chakra linked, in order for that to happen, you need to have damage in, in your chakra system. One or more of your chakras need to have damage at a very primal level of that energetic organ I think of them as energetic organs and that very primal level I call the spirit unit spirit unit damage must exist in order to get chakra linked and I think the reason more chakra linking is occurring today is simply because there's more there's more damage at these chakras at the spirit unit level and I'm tracing that directly to radio frequency exposures so um, there you have it bottom line it's common it's getting more common by the day and um, uh, it's in all likelihood you are could be chakra linked right now and you in all likelihood have been chakra linked at least once in the last month and probably multiple times uh, at both major and or minor chakras or a combination so there you have that Third common question that I get is, um, how do I know that I'm chakra linked? How, how would I know that I'm chakra linked? Well, you can try to douse it or use other intuitive skills to figure it out. But the problem with that is that once you are chakra linked, your system has quite a bit of interference in it because you're basically online with you know, another person and all their data. And it creates what's like static in your little operating system, your little computer. Um, uh, so it, it, you can douse it, but it becomes uh, more difficult to get accurate answers uh, with that approach or with any intuitive approach once you're actually linked. Other ways that don't involve needing to utilize your intuitive skills that can help you discern that you are probably chakra linked is um, changes very rapidly in circumstances. Just kind of like overnight, wow, you know, a very short period of time, like a week or two or a month, um, you go from one particular thing like wonderful, blissful, you know, harmony in your relationship with your husband to absolute hell at home or all of a sudden there's there are these major things that happen with your finances and you go from being in a great way with your finances to being everything's locked up or you lose your job or uh, you know something happens that's very notable it's not just a casual thing you actually notice that there's been this shift um, Chakra linking, when there's many types of energetic exchanges with other human beings, ways that we transfer thoughts and feelings that can then be causal, be causal components of manifest outcomes in our lives. There's many, many different types of energetic exchanges. But chakra links are especially potent for very rapidly uh, shifting circumstances because it's not just your energy that's fueling the, the whole chakra link and, and the manifest outcomes of that, it's the other person as well. So you've got these, the, and sometimes they are linked with other people, and then those energies and, and the kind of negative fuel to manifest the, whatever the outcome is of all those thought forms and negative emotional, that negative emotional activity, now you've got three or four people um, adding to the, to the pot, and that becomes a much more ma potent manifestation situation. Um, so just, again, being very observant about shifts in circumstances. Being observant as you learn how to tell, as you discover that, oh, I am being chakra linked, and you learn how to clear chakra links, and oh, this is what it feels like when I'm chakra linked and when I'm not chakra linked, over time you discover that most people have very specific body signatures when they do get chakra linked. And so you'll memorize your body signatures, and that will be a, you know, a red flag every time you feel that. Now, that can be a little bit tricky because there are other types of entanglement 
supplements that can have the exact same signature. They're very similar to chakra links, but they're not chakra links and they have um, kind of different outcomes. They have different um, uh, ways that they impact your system. Um, they, they will have, they can have a very strong causal factor in regards to um, things going amuck in your life, whether that's with health or, you know, you're all of a sudden you're high energy and now you're just fatigued all the time. Again, chakra links can cause that, but so can things called living thought forms. So can things called trackers. And I'm not going to go into that in, in today's uh, short video, but there are, uh, those are other types of what I call entanglements, where you're online with someone else's system. And anytime you're online with someone else's system versus just a static exchange of energy, like a thought form transfer, um, it's always more potent. So, but bottom line, you will get this type of body signature. And um, uh, the first, uh, you know, first impression, if I get my body signature, um, my, I call it my chakra link body signature. My first guess is going to be that I'm chakra linked, even though I know it could be one of these other things. And I'll ultimately investigate those if I can't find and clear a chakra link in my system. Um, another tip off uh, uh, that your chakra linked is when you know you've got a particular challenge. It's a health challenge that kind of came out of nowhere or a financial challenge. That's the give, that's the tip off with chakra links is it, it seemed like it came out of nowhere, the problem. Now, again, you could have been chakra linked for a very long time. I've had clients and students who have been chakra linked for decades, literally. I've had clients who have um, been chakra linked with, let's say a loved one, like their mother for decades. And then the mother dies and the chakra link actually reestablishes establishes itself in, in that state. So the mother is dead and in the astral plane and the, the daughter or the son is still alive in our dimension, yet they've got this energetic entanglement. And those are really gnarly situations that can cause huge amounts of discomfort, health problems, all kinds of things. Um, uh, what was I going to say? I kind of lost my train of thought. Um, oh yeah. You, so you're, 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 when I say that typically with chakra links, it's like something shifts out of the blue, but you might've been chakra link for so long that you don't remember how rapidly in the past your circumstances shifted way back then. And, and if you've been linked for 10 years, you may have forgotten that it went from great to not so great almost overnight. That's the typical sign of a chakra link. When you're doing tons of stuff to try to clear up a problem, maybe you're doing energetic things, maybe you're taking physical action steps, material action steps, whatever it might be, and the situation just will not clear itself up, you cannot find resolution, you need to be suspicious of a chakra link. <laughs> or possibly a living thought, these things called living thought forms or trackers, but chakra links would be top on my list. If you are clearing, 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 taking all kinds of proactive steps to shift your situation and it's just not happening, chakra link would be at the top of my list. So there you have it. So again, our, um, oh, one other one. Do you need to know the name? This is a very common question. Do you need to know the name of whoever chakra link you? Do you need to know who it is in order to clear the link? Very often, yes. Not always, but very often, yes. The name, as it turns out, often uh, is uh, part of the, the energetic equation. You, you have to identify the, the package, the, the, what's, what's causing the link. I call that the package. And then what's the antidote to that? And a lot of times that identifying the package needs to have that person's name, that frequency. You need to identify it. Um, and that can be, that can be tricky. Um, sometimes you're being linked, very often you're being linked by an aspect of another person and, and out the gate, you might guess, am I being linked by John? And you'll get, no, you're not. Gosh, I could just swear this kind of feels like his energy. I could just swear that I'm being shot really by John. No, you're not. And your system will keep on saying, no, you're not. No, you're not. And you're not actually technically linked by John. You might be being actually linked by John, but by something called an extension of John. And that is um, kind of like an alter ego or a um, ID pattern that he has, uh, that he operates from. Like he might have the initials JP and he functions a lot from that persona, JP. And so the issues that he has, the emotional issues that he has that triggered the chakra link might have come through his JP persona. 
And if that happened, then you'll, you'll use your, your dowsing or your other intuitive skills as am I being, is, am I being chakra linked by John? No, no, no. Am I being chakra linked by JP? <laughs> yes, you are. As a matter of fact, you are. So again, it can get tricky. Sometimes you, you, you're hunting for the name of an extension, literally. Um, sometimes it's even trickier. Like I had a chakra link yesterday, and this was very tricky. Uh, this chakra link had actually been in my system, unbeknownst to me, on an intermittent basis over the course of two months. So this person was very consistently chakra linking me. The links weren't lasting for long, but it was happening for a, over the course of two months. So it was pretty substantially impacting. Because again, every time we get chakra linked, it's not just about the live wire that we're connected to the other person. It's about, we get energetic exchanges. We take copies of some of their issues and become part of our operating archive and and we start taking on because of that some of their we start our life starts mimicking some of their problems and we don't want that um, but this person had been intermittently linking me for a couple of months and I had not discovered it because of the intermittent nature of it. Whenever I was checking, I wasn't chakra linked. And I, I didn't, I just did not uncover it. Uh, and, and it happened that uh, yesterday I was asking some questions about something else. And I happened to be live linked with that person right at that time. And I found the link and then was able to trace how long it had been in my system. And I knew I couldn't possibly have been consistently linked that long in Dow's to have I been intermittently linked. And that was the case. But it was tricky finding out who it was because I kept on asking. I knew I was chakra linked with someone that was causing my immediate problem yesterday. And I was asking, is it a male or a female? That's typically how I'll start out. If I first I ask, do I need to know their name? Do I need to know who it is? And if I get a yes, then I'll say, okay, is it someone who's male or female? And if I don't get an easy answer to that, I'll say, what about this? Is it someone in a male body? Or is it someone in a female body? Because if you just ask, is it male or female, um, your system can be confused about that because you may be dealing with someone who's female but has a real strong male energy presence. And so your system will think that you're chakra linked by a male when in fact you're chakra linked by female. So a little trick is you can say, well, is it a person in a female body today or a male body today? And I kept on getting that it was a, it was a female, but I couldn't figure out who it was. So finally I had a flash, just kind of an in, intuitive flash, and I asked a different question. I said, wait a second, is it someone in a female body who is linked right now with someone else, one or more people in male bodies? And the answer was yes, this person was linked right now with someone in a male body. And in fact, that energy presence was so phenomenally strong that, um, uh, that, that, that was, I wasn't linked with a male. I was linked with, with a female, um, but the, the male energy was really uh, the powerful, most predominant influential energy. And I was able to, as soon as I registered, um, that I was, as soon as I registered that there was a male involved, and that's why my system couldn't figure out who the female was, um, because it was registering male, 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 um, uh, instantly I saw her face, and I, and I knew who it was, and I said, is that who I'm linked with? Yes, that's who I'm linked with. You are actually linked with a female, and uh, that was the end of that, and I was able to clear the chakra link, but anyway, these are kind of the nuances of chakra linking, is that there's a lots of little, little tricks and, and and things that you learn over the years. I've been helping people clear chakra links for decades now, and um, I'm always learning new tricks, and uh, um, it's, it's interesting. I don't like being chakra linked, but I can tell you it's been observing chakra links and experiencing them myself, and the, the power, the, the, the huge manifestation power that is involved and, and, and circumstance shifting power that is involved in chakra links still to this day astounds me, absolutely astounds me. And this is after seeing this in action tens of thousands of times. Um, if you, so it's fascinating. I mean, it's, it's, I don't like it. I, I wish nobody ever had to experience chakra linking, but it happens on a near rampant level at this point. Um, and learning how to do something about it um, is a very good thing to be learning today, a very good thing to be learning.